hi beauties it's your girl cindy welcome welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video um welcome to today's vlog well it's probably gonna be a short weekly vlog but i'm starting off today today's wednesday happy international women's day so today's actually women's day and i'm getting ready to go to an event i don't know it just got dark in here for some reason but um let's see is that better yeah, that's better. So I'm getting ready to go to an event at Hotel Zaza. They're having a happy hour. It starts at 4, it's from 4 to 6. And I'm going with Najal. We're just going to go um, for a little bit. And then I'll probably just come home and, or maybe get dinner, depending on how I feel. But I did my hair, I did my makeup this morning. And it's starting to separate because I have like oily skin. So I don't know how it's looking like right now. But I did it this morning. Just my simple look i did put a little bit of eyeshadow well this was actually blush i didn't put a tiny bit of blush on my eye eyelids um my eye right here was so swollen earlier i had a sty just from all the dust and pollen because ever since moving to houston i've developed allergies and i've never had allergies before it's been pretty rough i'm like nervous to go outside because my car is probably covered in dust even though i just washed i mean pollen even though i just washed it but let me share with you guys my outfit. I'm debating whether or not I want to bring this green bag and wear this. So I'm debating whether or not if I want to wear the green bag because it has little hints of green. Can you see that? Just little hints of green. So I don't know if I want to do um, this with a green or just wear this Bottega dupe that I have. This black Bottega dupe. Wear that. I don't know i think i am kind of feeling the black um i am wearing black sunglasses even though there's a tiny bit of sun it's probably going to go down but yeah maybe i am feeling the black just because i feel like the jumpsuit kind of stands on its own you know we have the pop of color in the jumpsuit already so maybe there's no need to wear any more color so um yeah so this is what i'm going to end up wearing i have these black shoes from uh, I got them from DSW, but they are Jessica Simpson. I was going to wear these other shields I got from Zara, but these are a little bit more comfortable than the other ones, so I figured we'll wear that instead. And then I have these sunglasses from Mango that I'm going to put on. Okay, so the set is actually from Zara. I picked this up um, pretty recently. It's going to be featured in a haul. Um, it's kind of hard to show on camera. The set is from Zara really love it i got both in the smallest size the pants are actually too long so i actually had to flip it <laughs> flip it over this is kind of like <clears throat> my hack when i don't have time to get it tailored and then because i'm wearing the shirt over it kind of hides this band part um and i do just need to fix the back but um yeah this is like my little hack when oh i need to fix this part here Make sure it sits nicely. Okay. It's not the best, but this is the hack when I don't have time to get my pants tailored for these type of um, pants. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I have my classic jewelry on. For fragrance today, I am wearing the Eau à la Rose by Francis Kirkjean because um the weather it's pretty hot today so this is one of my favorite actually this is my go-to it's literally my favorite fragrance of all time i would say and it's the francis kirkjean oh a la rose this is almost done i need to get another one and when i do i might just get the largest size i can because i wear this all the time but yeah so that's it i did decide to just do the pouch bag um i don't know if i'll bring my ds well, it's not a DSLR anymore. It's a mirrorless camera. I don't know if I'll bring it uh, because this uh, camera actually takes really good pictures. So I might just do that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to head out. I will see you guys at the event. Looks like we are here. <laughs> I just arrived at the hotel. I'm like in this line to get in, this valet line. So we are here. So the event started at 4, it's like 
Still on here. Oh, it's 420. Here early. Oh, so this is Celebration Endicott PR. It's a woman-owned company, and Zaza is an all-female sales and marketing team. I had no idea, so I guess this is why they're hosting it at um, Hotel Zaza, uh, because the PR company that reached out to me is Endicott PR. Um, so that'll be fun. Cocktail, small, small bites, and I guess we'll just get a chance to network. So it's Energy Corridor is where the event will be hosted. I've never been to this hotel and I heard it's really nice, so we shall see. Wow, it's like pretty booming. <laughs> There's like, all the valet guys are like so busy. But this is like what the outside kind of looks like. It's a memorial, um, memorial city or just memorial? I guess just memorial. Pretty. Hi. Yeah, I am. Yeah. For the women's event? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. The no keys problem. in there. Thank you. Is she vlogging I today? Girl, I don't Ooh. know who I am, but she brought her a vlog camera. Sure. I, I was like, let me, let me just start. <laughs> I was like, you know what? If I don't just start, I won't ever get back into it. So the other day, I took all my lighting out. Uh huh. I set it up in my office. I was like, let me just have them up. Because one of these days, it'll inspire me to sit down and film something. I've been trying so. to tell her to get back to YouTube. I think she's making her debut, guys. I'm coming back slowly, y'all, <laughs> but soon. <laughs> I like oh, my goodness. camera. My camera was dusty. I'm like, oh my god. I know, right? That's like me when I take a break and then I finally like start and I'm like, ooh, this is hard. How do you do this again? I, I do want to get a picture out of here before the sunset. Yeah, that's crazy. I think it's nice. And I'll, I'll mingle in there. There's some. I'm assuming it's all things. creators. It must be. Where did you see the? She. They just emailed me. Oh okay. Yes. Yeah, so I'm assuming it's all creators. And so, tried that chicken, but I didn't really like it. Mm. Trying to remember how how to work the camera. Girl. <laughs> so embarrassing, but I'm like you know. One step at a time. Alright you guys, so I'm just whoa, 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 whoa. You just turned it off, girl. Did I? Yeah. Girl. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> it's been eleven months. <laughs> it's been a whole eleven months. Yeah, because the last I time turned it on and then I turned, turned it off. off. The oh. last one was when we were hanging out, I think. Is that the last vlog? When we first, when we went to um the coffee shop together. Yeah, wild. And then that I never posted that. That never went anywhere. It just sat in the in the memory card. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, now I'm recording. All right, you guys. So I made my way out. Finally, we're here at the hotel. Say hey to Cindy. <laughs> it's a cute vibe so far. I just got here. And they greeted us with some prosecco. Cheers. Cheers. Happy International Women's Day. Yay. Shout out to all the women of the world. We deserve a day. Yeah, we, we do. We do. Yeah, that's why yesterday I took a personal day. I didn't go to work. I just like sat, took a shower, watched Grey's Anatomy. I fell asleep. Yeah, <laughs> like I needed a day for myself. Honestly, you know? I feel like in, I feel like the day always creeps up on me. Yeah, like I always realize that it's that day, like just a couple days before. That I'm like, I need to just <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Do stuff it. So. But I did though. Yeah. You have what? It does. It feels like it's definitely more intimate. Yeah.
I do that sometimes. I already did. I did a lot. I put my two places. Have you been to the Heights Beer Garden yet? Yeah, why not? Let's check it out. Send me the name. <laughs> That's what I do best. I influence. Okay, okay. Good reminder. Get your camera. But let me not get this. And delete the footage now. Would you give me permission? I love. I just love the smell of the hotel. It smells so good. I love when hotels use it. I want to see what their rooms look like. Okay, so we just came from the event, Najal and I. We're actually headed to, I guess, the beer garden to grab a drink and some at light bites. So the event was pretty cool. It was nice just like networking with other women and um, it was actually really nice. Like I'm such a people person that I forget how much I enjoy meeting new people i enjoy networking and just being outside <laughs> so it was really nice i i'm glad i went because today i was actually having a pretty the last few days have been pretty rough for me um i actually didn't work yesterday and today i almost didn't feel like working but i'm glad i did and then i'm glad i ended up going out because i think that's it just helps like i was telling Najal that honestly i realized like just getting up, doing my hair, my makeup, and just being out felt really, really nice. So, glad I ended up going out. I actually don't know where the heck I'm about to park because this also has handicap. Like, handicap where? Like, where do you park in this place? Girl, oh, she's here. Where do I park? There's a spot there? Oh, this is. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, this is some off-roading stuff, girl. Oh my god, there's like nowhere to park. Oh my god. <gasps> my poor baby. Luckily, I'm a pretty decent driver. Cause what the hell? I'm about to park in this veterinary spot, I guess, because there's so much um construction in the heights, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not. I think I might see y'all later because this is crazy. Let's hope I don't get a ticket for parking here because there are no parking spots around. So let's hope I'm good. I have my car keys and I'm good. Okay. Girl, thank God I'm a good driver because what was this? Girl, I don't know what the hell this was. <laughs> like, I literally had to drive all around this this little area i was like they don't even make it clear where to turn in uh, but we made it to the heights beer garden apparently there's a thing to do when you live in houston all right we're at the heights beer garden yo houston loves these outdoor like bars as the place we went to
Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday. I'm so glad today is Friday because I don't know, it's just been a, I guess, a rough week. Um, I'm gonna change my battery real quick and then we're gonna make some coffee and maybe like a light lunch, a light breakfast and start the, well, I'm already working. It's almost nine, but I'm gonna eat my breakfast now and everything. Okay, a quick outfit of the day for work today because I'm kind of like not in the mood <laughs> to do anything. So I decided to kind of keep it casual for today. It's Friday. I have these socks on only because my feet are cold. I have the AC on high today. And then I bought these, I guess, Yeezys dupes or whatever from Amazon. I spilled some food on there when I was cooking the other day. I need to clean them. But these are so comfortable. I'm not going to lie. They're ugly to look at, but they're comfortable. So comfortable. Um, so everything I'm wearing actually is H&M. These shorts are from H&M. This ribbed tank is from H&M. And so is this um, hoodie. I decided to pair it together. That's my outfit of the day for fragrance today because it actually is feeling like spring in Houston. I decided to wear... Um, my Dior, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet fragrance for today. Absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite spring scents, so I'm wearing that today. I need to get a new tray because this one, it's kind of bending over, like it's warped in, and I feel like there's so much on here that it'll like, if I open the drawer, some of the fragrances will fall over <laughs> like they have now, so I need to get a new tray um, for this, so. I am on the hunt for a new tray, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. But I'm probably just going to look on Amazon or Ikea. I did see Ikea had a nice one um, that I might get. So let's make a coffee. I'm going to make an iced coffee or iced latte today. And I, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Okay, so I bought these. Um, cups I was influenced <laughs> so I bought these plastic cups to make my own drink I mean I know I have glass ones but I don't know I feel like these would be great for the days where I'm like going to work outside the home um, but today I want to try one of these out just to see what it's like so I'm gonna make an iced coffee today so good um i was gonna like froth the milk the creamer but honestly i was just like i'm just gonna have it 
So I guess this would be like a mocha latte with a shot of espresso. I don't know. I actually think I prefer mocha over caramel. Um, but cheers, happy Friday. It's melted a little bit, so I probably should drink it quick. It's a beautiful day. All right, I am back to work because I wanna finish everything or as many things as possible so that I can actually enjoy my weekend. Hi beauties, happy Saturday. So today's Saturday, it's actually almost one. I got up and I started uh, recording videos for YouTube because that's my um, kind of like schedule and routine is to kind of catch up on YouTube or Instagram. Um, however, I don't know. I think I might slow down on Instagram and like TikTok because it's just so much to manage with the full-time job. Um, especially like when I'm done working, like I just feel so like mentally drained looking at a computer all day. So I think like for now, I'm kind of just focus on YouTube for the most part um, and share on Instagram, TikTok after the fact. I also do want to like start blogging more, like actually writing on my blog. Like I know blogs are quote unquote obsolete, but I enjoy taking photos and like sharing my outfits. And I feel like it's easier for me to do that on a blog in a blog post than it is to do like in a YouTube video sometimes because Saturday is like the optimal day for me to shoot because like I can do it in the morning when the sun is out. Um, because the sun just hits my apartment real nicely in the morning and I can just like get that done as opposed to like waiting till after work because it's just not the same. And I'm sometimes tired and even if I do my makeup by the time it's like afternoon or evening, my makeup just like looks super oily because I have oily combination skin. Like right now, it's a little oily but it's like a perfect amount where it's like a nice dewy natural finish. Um, and so I just prefer that. I did record my makeup this morning um i don't know if it's going to be a youtube video or it's going to be a reel or like a shorts i recorded it both ways <laughs> um just to try to maximize repurposing content um so if you're interested i will share that or maybe i'll try to share it in this vlog depending on how much like i do this week i need i do need to get a refill on my lashes but um i don't know it's just like lately i'm not gonna lie i just been feeling super like down and unmotivated and not feeling like i want to do anything um and so i don't know i've just kind of been home and i'm not gonna lie it's just like really been kind of emotional for me and i have been talking to a new therapist lately and like i don't know if it's just like things like come out in therapy and then it's just like you you know you got to process it and like this week or the next this week and next week i'm supposed to just kind of like sit with it and process it and i'm like oh this is a sucky feeling like can we get to the reason can we get to the uh, solution and she's more like no we gotta really sit and figure out what the issue is before trying to find a resolution and i'm just like oh it sucks like i hate feeling this way so i think that's it's been kind of affecting my mood i think lately because i've kind of just been like ugh. So yeah, but I'm gonna try to pick myself up. So I'm once I'm done, cause right now I'm trying to so save the footage onto my um, external hard drive. Once that's done, I think I'm gonna try to push and record one more video. Um, so I just did the mango haul, cause like I had to do the sit down part. And I think I might just do the sit down for the Zara haul. Uh, I don't know if I'll do the try on try on portion today or not only because I have a couple of errands to run and the clouds just keep coming in and out and it's like super annoying because like the lighting will be perfect and then it'll be too dark. Um, so I might just do the sit down portion and then get out the house. Like I already got my makeup, my hair done. I'm going to put on a cute little fit. I'm going to go run some errands, go to Target, go to Sephora, go to Zara because I bought some things but like um, I just don't like the fit or I don't like how it feels and I'm like sticking to my rules of like when I buy something if one I can't find three ways to wear it it needs to go back two if I don't 
love the item when I put it on, it needs to go back. If it doesn't fit right and it's not something I want to get tailored, it needs to go back. Because I feel like I kind of neglected or I didn't follow my rules last year. And I have so many clothes that are brand new with tags on them. And it was kind of heartbreaking to be like, man, like, I'm, I have no use for these clothes. Of course, I donated them um, because I like to donate whenever I can. And I thought about selling them, but your girl don't have the time and patience for that, okay? I don't, I don't have it. <laughs> like, back in the day in college, I used to sell my stuff on Poshmark and like, oh, I... I had time, I had more time and patience to deal with it. Now I'm like, the minute I post it, at least like I need a gong like now. And I just don't have, I don't have the patience. So I ended up just donating a bunch of clothes. Um, it's like continuous. I feel like I'm always going through and donating. Like most recently I went through, donated a bunch of clothes that I just didn't wear because initially I didn't love them um, or whatever the reason is. And I just like, I can't keep doing this anymore, you know? And then I was also talking to one of my friends um, because I feel like moving to Houston, it's almost been two years by the way, um, has changed my style a little bit and I felt like I've been having a hard time figuring out my personal style because up north I feel like I had more variety, I can layer things because we have all four seasons. I felt like I knew my style then and then when I came here, it's like what I would want to wear, it's like I couldn't wear it because it's too hot. Like right now I think it's like 80 degrees. It's March 11th and it's already 80 degrees. Typically right now I would still be wearing my like winter clothes and stuff and like my layers and I'd have more things to wear and I felt like all I have are like shorts, dresses, and sandals. Like that's it. And I miss accessories. I miss like scarves and hats and knits and just boots and I miss having the variety so I feel like I'm struggling to find my personal style in Houston um but I was talking to one of my friends and I was like I think I know my personal style I just need to adapt it to the weather um because weather does affect so a person's personal style and so I've been going through my closet and just really like looking at what I've purchased and like what I'm starting to purchase um, and also just like, I like having a few trendy pieces here and there, but I need to like really sit with it and be like, okay, do I, do I like this more than it just being trendy? Because if so, it's going to be gone by next season. And I'm the, per I'm the type of person like, I want to be able to wear it still. And so I have to make sure I love it to be like, okay, yeah, it may not be on trend, but your girl still won't rock it because she likes it. So yeah. So I've just been like having those like conversations with my friends and I'm like, I think I'm just more of like a classic chic girl. I like ele elegant looks. I might do a little trendy thing here and there. Um, and also like, I like color, but I don't think I like color as much as like I thought. Like, I think I like color for like going out and like special occasions, but I think day to day, I love a neutral palette um neutral tones maybe even like pastels but I was just like having that conversation with my friend because like I think sometimes I can be a little bit impulsive when I buy things and then I have to sit down and think be like whoa did you like it or did you not like what, what was what's going on so yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this little like chatty version chatty chat with me what's been going on what's going on in my mind um because like sometimes I just I feel like I need to just talk and this was nice okay but time to get back to work and then we'll hang out some more later this evening hi beauties it's your girl Cindy welcome welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video okay that was good oh that was good okay this was a nice little behind the scenes but I'm gonna like stop because I don't want to edit this twice I'll see you guys I am done. The best feeling in the world is when I'm finished. I still need to do the try on portion. And I told myself by two o'clock, I need to be done with all of my videos for the day. So I might just do a quick little like try on part. Um, just put my camera or just like try them on in the room and either use this camera or my phone just to finish it. 
and then we're gonna step out and enjoy this beautiful day like i was thinking i was like maybe i should sit by the pool because it's like so nice out today but we gotta finish working first all right guys so i finished all my videos and then i actually ended up just cleaning quite a bit so i finished around like 2 30 and then i ended up cleaning a little bit i just kind of like swept dusted because it's pollen season and i like to leave the door open so it was just like pollen just kept coming in here i didn't open the door today just because i don't want any of that pollen getting in here um but i'm gonna head to the mall i'm gonna go to zara to return some things sephora to return a few things and actually pick up maybe one or two items I'm gonna go to target i'm feeling like getting a refresher so i might actually stop by starbucks and get a refresher and i just realized i actually haven't eaten anything today i just had a coffee so i'm gonna find some place where it's maybe low-key so i can have lunch i am bringing my bag to get some edits done and emails and respond to comments and dms um so let me share with you guys outfit fragrance and everything this is the zara bag i just featured in um the haul that i was recording not too long ago so this is the bag i love this it's like a beautiful olive color i like the fact that this is fabric and it has somewhat like a croc detail oh my gosh my legs had a bunch of oil and like sunscreen and i rubbed it on me so that's where that like black stain is coming from um but i like the fact that i can personalize it so i have my initials in here this bag is actually pretty spacious i'm actually thinking like i could fit a water bottle in, water bottle in here if i wanted to but i have my macbook 13 my ipad air i have this little case here with all of my electronics in here memory cards uh, excuse me chargers and then i just realized i think i need to buy another pouch like a mini pouch just to put everything else like my wallet extra battery uh, hand sanitizer hand cream i think i need to buy a little one or i might have one somewhere maybe it's like one of my travel size to put this other stuff in there and then I'm bringing two tripods with me. Ooh, people are having a time out there. I'm bringing my typical um, adjust uh, uh, this tripod here. You can adjust it. I love it so much. And then I have this tripod here. It's bendy. So um, while I'm in the store, I can use it if I want to. Um, and then I have this hair clip. If I want to get the hair out of my way for outfit. Uh, can you guys see? Oh, my nose is like all runny now. And I hope I'm not like allergic to anything. Okay, so for my outfit today, I have this set that I picked up from Target. The shorts are an extra small. And I will say, even for an extra small, they're pretty loose. So I would say size down if possible. I have this tank that I picked up from Zara. I featured it in a Zara haul. I have the matching top as well in an extra small. It's very oversized, so definitely size down. On my feet, I have these Zara sandals that I really love. I have these old sunglasses that I got from H&M. Um, for earrings, I have these Mujiri earrings on and my Apple Watch. And then for fragrance today, I am wearing Burberry Her. This one right here. So this is a fragrance of the day. I don't know why my nose is so runny. And I think it's maybe because I just sprayed some of the um, fragrance. But yeah, this is the outfit and everything. I love this bag. Like love it such a good quality tote um so yeah this is the fit i'll see you guys in a bit not me arriving <laughs> the fact that i just pulled in and found parking what <laughs> i struggle finding parking whenever i come to memorial city i don't know what it is about here but i struggle finding parking okay so i don't really want to walk around with this tote bag because i'm gonna be walking around with everything else but it's like so hot so i think what i'm gonna do is i don't know should i just bring it with me i'm just gonna bring it it is what it is like yeah it's heavy and there's stuff in there but i just don't want to leave it in the car because it's kind of hot um so i'm gonna take this tote bag with me along with everything else i need to go return and exchange uh oh shoot this is my my favorite tote bag right here it says hello weekend every time i go to like return anything 
or I go to the mall, I like to bring it because um, I don't really have to get bags, which is nice. I'm saving the environment. Um, and also like when I shop online, like they don't give like they give you boxes. So this comes in handy. So these are all the stuff I need to return to Zara. Um, like I mentioned earlier on in the vlog. And then I need to return this stuff at Sephora because I ended up getting the Ultra Blur. So I don't need this Laura Mercier. I bought this fragrance here. Um, Kabosh right here. I really wanted to love it, but it's too strong for me. And then I already have, I purchased a setting spray already, so I don't need this. I mean, I could hold on to it because I go through setting spray a lot, but... I don't need it and then I'm still on the fence about so I do really like the uh, Sunday Riley sleep oil uh, sleeping night oil but I kind of wanted to get the set the mini set that I had before that came with the lactic acid and the um, oil and then I did buy the lactic acid but this is like $120 and I'm gonna be real with you guys like I I don't see myself spending $120 right now on one skincare product when I have other products that do your mobile device is still in the vehicle that do just about what this does so if I can find the set I'll purchase the set um, but not this entire thing and I, I have a lot of skincare and I'm not gonna go through it very quickly so oh, I'm gonna be walking out with a lot of bags initially but I'm gonna go to Zara first then Sephora then I'll go to Target because I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on Target, so. Whew, I'm already hot. I love Coach products. I love that. Yeah. I like did a video recently on YouTube and it like did so well. Well, yeah, I think I, I like this size so much better than the other one. Us, it just looks like it swallows us. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Bye, have a good one. You too. You too. It's so funny walking around with a camera where everybody's staring at you. But I'm used to it by now. Okay, I am back. I had no intentions of buying this coach bag, um, but ever since I got the Tabby 26, I've been saying I wanted to get the Tabby 18 because I feel like the 26 is just too big for me because I'm petite and I feel like big bags just kind of like 
I don't know, it just looks weird on me. And so I've been wanting that bag ever since I got my tabby, but I just, I don't know, for whatever reason, just didn't get it yet. And then, I don't know, going today, I was like, okay, just go ahead and get the bag, girl. Um, so I decided to get it. I was torn between getting the black or the white one. The, the black one looks so cute. So does the white one. But ultimately, my rationale is that I have so many black bags. If you guys have seen my 2022 Coach collection, if not, I'll link it below and in the iCards. Majority of my bags are black. Let me just count. I have the Cassie 19, that's black. I have the Molly Tote, that's black. I have the Millie Carry All, that's black. Um, so that's three. I have the Claire, that's black. That's four bags, I think. So I think those are all of my coach bags um, that are black. And then I have the, I forget the name right now, Chloe. Claire something <laughs> I have that one that's that's cream I have a flat back that's cream and then I have the tabby 26 that's cream so if I were to get another bag it'd be black and I'd have five black bags and I'm like girl okay you need to kind of balance it out I do want to get a brown bag or like a coach monogram bag one um, one of these days and also I was thinking I'm going to sell my tabby 26 um, I, I have that linked, I'll have it linked below on Depop or somewhere else, but I already have it posted on Depop because I do want to sell it. I don't use that bag and why do why am I holding on to it if I'm not going to use it? So I'm thinking because I'm selling it, I might as well get the 26, I mean the 18. So that's what I, that was my rationale behind it. But that bag is so cute. I think it just looks so nice and then I was talking to the sales associate and she made a good point about um, putting a chain on there and since I have several chains for my other coach bags I think I'm going to use the one from the Cassie 19 to put on there I think that'll be cute um, and then I did get a fragrance at Sephora I got the Jo Malone peony and blush suede um, that's for a birthday gift um, I do need to get one for myself because mine is like there's this much left of it so that's my thinking but it's so cute i'm like looking at it it's so cute i'm not, I'm not supposed to post this because i really haven't been posting on my stories lately
Yeah. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Watch it look daytime in the night. We bring the vibes here. We full of life, you keep the change. Keep the change. They hate and say we went and changed. I stay the same. You must be blinded by the lights. You must be blinded by the lights. Lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together, we're gonna leave the other team. My name is Coastal Goods. I appreciate y'all coming out. Good stuff. Taking care of your hamstrings, taking care of your triceps. Shake it off. I'm gonna put some wipes on your platform. Wipe it down for me. You know, hey, shout out to the 7 a.m. Let's get it. Make sure y'all come back for a little photo. What's going on with y'all? Like I'm learning something. Two minute whips, I can't decide. Two minutes on my in three minutes. Oh my god, my legs are shaking. I almost fell walking down the stairs. <laughs> that Pilates class kicked my butt, guys. <sighs> but it was good. Oh my god, I'm shaking like a stripper. <laughs> My goodness, my legs are shaking, my arms are shaking. I, that Pilates class kicked my butt, okay? I haven't worked out in um, like two weeks, three weeks now, and then I decided to do a solid core Pilates class. So, what did the kids say? I chose violence. Yeah, I like, can you, <laughs> my arm is so shaky. But that was such a really good class and, um. I, we had a black instructor and I just, I don't know, it hits differently when you work out with a black instructor. Like the music, the playlist be fire. <laughs> the playlist was good, got me motivated. Oh no. I just like, I feel like instructors who have a really good taste in music, like their classes be so good. Um, like when I go to Soul Cycle, there's just one instructor. I swear he has the best playlist like ever i remember me and tinta went um i went for a new year's eve workout class so uh, cycle class when i tell you that class was so good it was probably one of the best cycle classes i i took in a long time i almost passed out though because i pushed myself a little hard but it was so good oh my god um, they played Beyonce and Jay-Z, uh, what's that song called? You know the one where Beyonce started rapping? Uh, I have to find it now because I want to listen to Ape Shit. <laughs> That's what it was, it was Ape Shit. That song, fire. Okay, but I'm gonna, is Trader Joe's open? I want to go grocery shopping since I'm already out and I love going to work out sunday mornings and then going to get my groceries come home clean my apartment and then you know do what else whatever else i need to do like sometimes i'll edit which i do need to edit a video today and put that out or i'll um chill by the pool or something so i just love doing that on my sundays i feel like it's a good reset day it also gives me time to plan my week and i feel like when i work out on a sunday morning i get my groceries and i do all that my my week is just like perfect and so trader joe's is open we're gonna go to trader joe's real quick to get some groceries i don't know how much battery i have left in this camera or how much memory because i've been vlogging a lot lately so we're gonna head to trader joe's and we're going to get some groceries this will be kind of like a mini sunday reset uh weekly reset i do need to wash my car it's so gross but it looks like it might rain today and i hope it does because the pollen is really disgusting on my car right now it's like gross all right so i'm gonna listen to some music before we go
Okay, so I'm back from Trader Joe's. Um, let's do a quick little haul. I really didn't get that much stuff. I just got a couple things for my dinners and lunches this week. So I got two of the oat milk um, creamer with brown sugar. This is really good. I actually really like brown sugar in my coffee and tea anyways. So I like that that has in there. I also picked up some more brown sugar because I didn't have much left. Um, got some potatoes, some brie because I want to make a cheese board, some tomatoes, peppers, avocados, um, green onions, cilantro, romaine, tortillas for um, salads, and ques quesadillas probably this week. Some plantain chips, some San Pellegrino. I got a kombucha um, just because I felt like having one after my workout today. For frozen foods, I really didn't get much this week. Um, I only got three things. I got the vegetable biryani, the butter chicken, and the vegetable fried rice. And got some chicken breasts, chicken tenders, some bagel, tortillas, ranch. Um, I got some strawberry uh, pure, not puree, <laughs> strawberry jam. And then my newest obsession right now is the Uzu coconut water, sparkling coconut water. I love this from Trey Joe's. And then I wanted to try something different, so I got the green tea sparkling with pomegranate. So a quick haul. And then of course I got some flowers that I need to put away soon. Um so yeah, just some light things this week. Nothing nothing much. So I need to put all this away and then I need to edit the video that's going out today and I might end up ending the vlog afterwards because I'm going to start a new one starting probably today slash tomorrow and I like to do them from Sunday to Saturday and I feel like I started on Wednesday so it's kind of like off schedule so that'll probably be it for this weekly vlog.